this matchup feel any different one on one there, or, or how did it feel on your end? No, it, it felt like you know um, pretty similar to the other ones uh, because you know they've been really good um, throughout my career. So you know it felt like you know pretty similar game to the other ones. Hunter, in that regard, did this game feel like some of the other ones you guys have played against for your team this year? Just sort of push up against the game? Yeah, yeah, no, it, it um, definitely felt like another another one of those frustrating losses where. Um, you know, just a couple more bounces here and there, um, a couple timely threes that they hit that, you know, they didn't go in, um, you know, could be sin with a W right now. But, you know, yeah, like you said, another frustrating loss because, you know, we feel like we played good enough to win, but at the end, they just made a couple more plays than us. You guys have both been around on winning teams for, for some time now. What is the difference between those winning teams and this team that seems to be falling a little short and making those plays? It's always just Hunt said those, those small plays. I mean, they're not small, but you know, down the stretch, just an open three here, a rebound there, they add up, and uh, that's that's usually the difference against a really good team. Uh, so that's that's kind of what happened tonight. Last year, uh, Purdue came in ranked three, and obviously uh, Michigan came away with the upset win. Did tonight feel in any way similar, like leading up to it, to that situation? But yeah, for sure. Um, definitely felt a great energy, um, definitely with me, but also with the team. Uh, felt very confident going into the game. Um, you know, I think, I don't think it was crazy for us to think that we could have won that game going into it, especially having only lost by five. I think it was definitely a very winnable game for us. So um, we came in with high expectations because we have high expectations, you know, of ourselves and of each other. And so I don't, don't think, um, you know, we were coming in feeling like the underdogs. I felt like we thought they were going to come here and win. But like I said earlier, they just made a couple more plays than we did. Man, I know it's not even February yet, but or this, this team has big goals. Are you starting to not reassess them, but think about the sense of urgency needed to kind of there, get where you want to be. Yeah, I mean, like you said, it's not even February yet, but we know we know we got to put together wins, and uh, it's just one game at a time. We're going to focus on Sunday, take a look and see see if there's some of the things we could have done better today. But we got to we got to get ready for Sunday, play a really good team again. And, you know, we we play a lot of really good teams, so you know we'll have our we'll have our opportunities. Just to figure out how how hard is it to match their depth. Um, just next man up. That was our, our whole philosophy. You know, we prepared hard. Um, and we were going to be ready to fight, and you know, we did tonight. Just a couple plays away. Like you're saying, you you guys know that you need to start stacking some wins and getting some notable wins. It felt like coming in, this was a big opportunity to sort of turn turn the season. At least that's what it felt like. Coming in for outside, did you guys see tonight as one of those opportunities? And how do you not let that linger and still turn the page? Yeah, I mean, we knew how we play the number one team is it's a big opportunity no matter what. But we knew um, what was at stake, and we just got to flush it. You know, we we competed, we played hard, and um, take a look, learn from it. Tomorrow's a new day. We get ready for for Penn State and move on. You guys played the number one team in the country to five points. I guess to try and look on the bright side, did you see anything positive to take away from the game today? I, I would say it's just, you know, reassurance that, you know, we're a really good team. Um, you know, the record might not say it. Uh, the wins and losses definitely probably doesn't say it. But, I mean, like, if you actually look into the games and not into the box scores, you would see that, you know, we're just a really good team that, just can't finish games, and that's something that if we want to make this tournament and make a run, uh, it's something we're gonna have to change. Um, I mean, like, it's not like we don't know that we're you know, like, letting these games go. Like, obviously, we know that as a team, and it's just frustrating because, like, <clears throat> we know we're a good team, like, we lost the, by five points, it's not like we got blown out or anything, so that's why it's just frustrating. Um, you know, I know the team is just frustrated because it's like we know we're better than what our record says, we know we're better than. You know what the media says, so it's just frustrating.
you guys traded blows with Purdue throughout much of the game. Is there anything they did specifically in that 15-0 run late in the first half that posed some, some challenges there? I don't even know they won in 15-0 yeah, run. 15? Yeah, um, yeah, I, I didn't even know they won a 15-0 run. Shit, you got me. I didn't know that. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's probably where we lost the game right there. Um, you touched on finishing out games kind of being a weakness. I guess, how do you address that going forward? I mean, something new. We, we got to try something new because what we've been doing is obviously not working. So if you guys have any ideas, we would appreciate it. How encouraging was it to see Kobe step up, I guess? You know, yeah, now Kobe's big time. He's huge for what we plan on doing down the stretch of the season and what we've done so far this season. So, you know, he, he kept us in it, kept us, kept us close. Um, there are times when we were kind of stalling a bit, a little bit, and, you know, he worked his butt off. He, he stepped up for us huge. Can you take us in, inside the huddles in, in, in those late games? Is there any, now that a few of these games haven't quite closed, is there any, is that like sort of a sense in the huddle, like someone's got to be the guy to do this as opposed to everyone wanting to be the guy to, to end it? Mm, I don't think it's like a offensive thing. I think it's more of a defensive thing where it's like, we play really good defense for 22, 25 seconds, and they get a three that really just hurts. Um, and instead of being down like four, it, they push it back to seven, and it's like, damn. Like, um, I think it's more defensively. I don't think it's offensively where it's one guy has to make a shot for us. I think the team would agree that it's more defensively for us. Defensively, how did the game kind of go compared to what the game plan was against I mean, we we were gonna play Edie straight up and let him and Hunt battle and just try and limit their other guys. And um, I thought we did a pretty good job of that for, for the most part. Obviously, had some lapses, but then late in the second half, we gave up a couple couple of drives that were just not not what we game plan for. And then a couple, I think Phyllis hit open three at the top of the key. It was a big shot for him. Um, so it's those, those small little details, but. Is there anything sort of fun about going against Edie? Oh, yeah, no, for sure. It was definitely fun. It was a lot of fun going against another great player. Um, you know, I feel like I'm a really good player, too. So um, as a as somebody who thinks highly of themselves, you want to go against the best. And that's who you guys say is the best right now. So it was very fun uh, to compete against them. Got time for one more question. Anything else? All right, thank you guys. Thanks, guys. Good